Now we're on, we're already on Facebook. Now we're on LinkedIn. Y'all learning to okay. <laughs> Dale, you were telling me so much about your good optical industry. Facebook got a good introduction. So you got into it about 14 years ago, you said? 14 years ago, I started working in an optometry office. And even at that point, I wasn't really into wearing glasses. I was into fitting glasses, not into wearing them. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, after working there for about five years, I started working for an optical distribution company. So selling lenses. Um, and uh, um, and I've since moved on to another um, lens company. Uh -huh. And it really was only a couple years ago when I got to um, go and see one of my all-time favorite accounts. And I think you know who I'm going to say. Uh -huh. So thanks to Sheena. Um, Y'all probably know her as Optician About Town. So she's uh, got a shop in Vancouver called Robertson Brown. And so I went in as her rep. And she styled me with this pair of glasses. So this is my first in my top five favorite glasses of all time. Um, it's an Andy Wolf pair. It's, uh, it's a mix of acetate and metal. It's got this brushed gold detail. Mm -hmm. And it's, I mean, it's a beautiful pair of glasses. But I think really the thing that launches it into the top five is the fact that this pair of glasses was the first time I ever felt beautiful wearing a pair of glasses. Oh my gosh. So, and for a woman, I, 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 I believe that all of us deserve to feel beautiful and good in our glasses. And I feel like every person deserves to feel at their best, but to feel that in something where that's always been a, like maybe a stigma for you or something that hasn't, that's carried more burden than it's carried more worth. Like it just has an emotional connection, you know? It's a major emotional connection. So this pair of glasses feels like the first pair. So mm -hmm. that, that just miracle pair that feels awesome. I mean, I, for me, a big part of a pair of glasses is having the great lenses in there as well. Mm -hmm. So having awesome lenses, these have transitions, um, in them, which I love, which again mm -hmm. is a, a big influence from uh, Miss Transitions herself. Um, yeah. uh, I'm hopefully she's not listening right now and being she's like, probably oh, like, oh, you're probably so like, you're me. And it's like, well, but she does. Like, she, I think as you stated, sometimes you don't know how much you love a pair of glasses because you're like, well, I just can't see out of them. I, they just don't, yeah. I just, my vision is not comfortable in them. And that's such a unique part of the world. So Jennifer Chin um, mentioned to me one day, she's another great, you know, she's another transitions ambassador that does great things. Mm -hmm. And she said, optometry and the optical industry is the only place where you add fashion to a medical device. Like you have both and you both components are so important. So I think so it, important. You know, sometimes when you're like, oh yeah, we're all about the fashion, but like you stated it so well. Like it's so true. I just said to my um my husband was just uh stepping out the door uh to go on a walk and I was saying to him that the the thing that makes a pair of glasses comfortable mm -hmm. is obviously the fit and the feel of the frame, but a comfortable frame with a bad prescription in it feels heavy. Like it's hard to explain for somebody that doesn't wear glasses, but if you've got even a mixed up base curve or something that doesn't work for you, you mm -hmm. can have a really light pair of glasses feel so heavy on your face. Mm -hmm. So this combination right here, this like beautiful light acetate mixed with metal, it's Andy Wolf, it's like, this peachy color. I just, I love it. So it's definitely first pair I thought of when I was trying to find the top five. I love it. I know you have a lot more. What, so what's kind of some other, what's another kind of one that led you into, you know, feeling like, okay, this is something I can do. Yeah. Okay. So I've got it right here. I'm going to switch. And I think so also I, my husband is in the other room, so he is not watching, but I just, he might be, I don't know, but he's in the other room doing whatever he wants to do. Um, I want him to say, hey, look, at, I'm not the only one who has to switch their glasses throughout the day. Um, and oh God. absolutely just wants to like, you know, just kind of give him a little, you know, we're all in this together. So these are 
funky and fun and I love them. Tell me more. Okay, so this is a brand called Sabine B. It's it's a smaller company, a French company, and um, like all the names of the frames are really cute. So it's like um, like be happy, so B E happy, oh. or be pretty, or be strong. Like all the frames have these cute other names, that are adorable. And so this pair is called Be Casual. And it's hot pink. I don't know if you can tell the colors coming through, but it is like an electric pink. And so uh -huh. it's another frame, but the um, it's really light, but the paint or the, the color saturation of the pink almost looks like it gives off light. Like it's really, um, it's so, so saturated. And mm -hmm. so I love that. Pink's my favorite color. And it's just, I mean, this frame is, it's got these crazy details without being gaudy. Like it's not like too much added on. So it's, it's not shiny. It's a really flat pink, but it's bright and dramatic. And I put a gradient rose colored tint in it because. Why not? Why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. No, I think one thing that we sometimes forget is that our lenses also can accent our frame. It can be a part of the whole optical design. We talked about that prescription, how important that is, but we forget like these. Okay, so these frames I have, these are my absolute favorites, And but I have a purple, like I have the amethyst transition in them. And it just like, when I go outside, it just makes a huge difference. And I think sometimes we think like, oh, my grandma wears a gradient tint, you know, like that was where the original came from is like, oh, well, that's just where, that's the generation, that's who does it, that's, that's all we have to think about. But sometimes it might, it's something to think about and add as a Absolutely. level of fashion to kind of heighten things. I was watching Songland the other day and her, the artist her, has just, just tinted lenses, like slight tinted lenses. She always has a huge frame with these tinted lenses, just light enough that it's just kind of like a light blue or a green or something. And I think there's a comeback coming in that it's coming. What are your thoughts? Oh, a hundred percent. Like tints, I feel like tints are back. Like I love that you can style your frame on your face, you know, pick a beautiful frame, but not end there. Like you said, you get to style your lenses too. So you've styled your lenses with your purple transitions. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely have more than one tinted pair of lenses that I just adore. And it just gives a completely different look. Mm -hmm. um, like I had a, a real transitions moment in my life and it was about, it was approximately a year, no, to about two years ago or so, um, mm -hmm. wearing just this big, huge pair of aviator glasses and um, I, I put brown transitions lenses in it. I had never had transitions before and so mm -hmm. this is sort of my first foray into it. And, uh, you know, I caught sight of myself in a reflection when the lenses were just kind of partially faded in and out. So uh -huh. in that like real like mid zone of the lens. And I realized that's when the lenses looked the best in that frame. Mm -hmm. So like that sort of midway tint made the big aviator frame look super seventies and really funky and cool. Uh -huh. And so that we're coming into an era where you can really style and zhuzh up your style with the lens as well as the frame. Mm -hmm. So important. This is so cool. Okay. So we've got okay. the hot pink. What else is out there? Okay. So we went a little more chill with the third pick here because this pair, it's uh, the company is called Vanny. Um, it's distributed in Canada by um, a company called George and Fina and uh, they're quite close to my heart. I really love this company. So um uh this frame is handmade acetate made in italy it is so comfortable mm. so it's not sort of like the wild shape it's not the wild colors it's brown sort of caramel tortoise on the top mm -hmm. and a bit of crystal gray on the bottom mm -hmm. and this pair of glasses is like chicken soup for my eyes like <laughs> I call the these are my sweatpants glasses, even though like, yes. like I just they're just like my glasses that I put on because I just need to feel comfortable. 
Yeah, so, and this is it. Like if this pair, this pair goes with every outfit I put on, I could put on a dress and put these on. I could put on a sweatsuit, put these on. Like these are the ultimate pair. It's like the warm caramel on the top really um, goes with all the warm colors. Or mm -hmm. if I want to dress all in gray, the gray on the bottom cools it right down. Like it's just that versatile, beautiful pair. And uh, they have Transitions Generation 8 gray in them. I love the Gen 8s. I'm, uh, well, the are perfect. Yeah, gosh, that's so yeah. gorgeous. This they, is, uh, yeah, this is one of those pairs of glasses that is made lighter by the lens choice. Like mm -hmm. the, the lens is perfect. The prescription is perfect. The color is perfect. It's like everything about this pair is just easy and pretty like I think they've got quite a bit of style to them as well oh, and it's it's not a I think sometimes we when we think we need style we think we need that bold pink we think we need to have this high level of like this is high fashion when really we need something fashion just needs to be something that speaks to you and gives you that comfort and that confidence because yeah. you also I mean, the frame doesn't wear you, you know? Sometimes we can put on a pair and I go, I love these. And yeah. the frame will wear me and that's okay. And I'm okay with that. But like the, this time, this just gets to accentuate who you are and just bring out like subtle, just gorgeous details in that yeah. frame. And I love it. Yeah, I love it too. This is easily like the one that I grab for. So when you were saying that sometimes you grab that frame that might be a little less subtle, Okay, so that's frame number four. So I'm gonna grab I'm that. I'm so now. excited, I'm so excited. So frame number four doesn't exactly fall I in. I was hoping these were coming in. So I, Dale Wardsy's like, she, every time she like posts her outfit of the day, like if you're not following her on Instagram, it's a great opportunity. And we'll talk about where to follow her at the end of this all, but she has an outfit of the day. And we both did an I style outfit of the day challenge a while ago in, um, <laughs> These, every time she wore them, I was like, I want them. I just want them. And then my husband's like, do you need them? And I was like, possibly. <laughs> and so, and then I, I mean, but it's in, I feel like it's just, they're so cool. Tell me more. Thank you. That's so sweet. Okay. So this is, you know, it's not one of those little independent brands. This is a Kate Spade frame. And it originally was a pair of sunglasses that I saw in one of my opticals that I go into. And I made the optician pop the lenses out so I could see what it would look like with clear lenses. And of course, I mean, I feel like the only lunatic that would go ahead and do this. But I mean, they are easily in my top five. Um, leopard print is my favorite print. It's so great. It's, it's a I, solid. I, I feel like it's a solid color. It, you know what I mean? Yeah, it, it is. It's it's uh, as loud as it is. It's kind of a neutral. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I tend to wear this pair with neutral. You know, like I try not to, you know, double, triple up with the leppy print. Um, but uh, again, the thing that makes this pair of glasses so amazing for me is that I put the emerald transitions um in this pair and it's sort of like seems like maybe it would be a weird pairing but i um i followed the uh transition style guide and it said to pair neutrals with emerald green mm -hmm. so i went for it and the combination is stunning when they're in full um like uv darkness it is mm -hmm. I, they're so pretty. It's like the perfect pair of sunglasses. So, That's and so I mean, cool. for being just sort of an off the rack kind of pair of glasses, it's, um, they're incredibly comfortable. So they're not heavy at all. And they're just a bit wild. <laughs> I love it. No, there was, um, I have a pair of black, um, they're a Ray-Ban and they're a rim, they're a semi rimless. And, I went with the emerald because that was also something that somebody said. And that emerald, a it almost just kind of brings in, it looks very, it just looks very professional. And even yes. if you pair it with like a, a, you know, just kind of a wild frame, I think that it brings in just a unique part of um, 
who you are and how, you know, you're, you want to have this high level of kind of fun and out there, but you're willing to take a risk and kind of keep things calm a little bit too, you know, with a different kind of, yeah. So So as loud as this frame is, uh the green kind of chills it out a little bit and more subtle. So this is just an extremely comfortable, really easy wearable frame. So if anybody is looking for something wild like this, I mean, sometimes it takes a little creativity. Sometimes you just need to look on the sunglass rack and, um, you know, follow your optician and make sure you're not picking something that's going to be awful with your prescription. But yeah. Ali Wong, who is a comedian, she says that's actually how she does a lot of her glasses. Is she yeah. wants that bigger, bolder frame? And until recently, that wasn't always the style in the in the clear optical kind of world. But, you know, the more like um, RX optical. So yeah. I think she she always gravitated towards those. And BuzzFeed did an article about that. So I've seen more patients look to that rack. And yeah. said, like, I like this frame. Could we just see what it looks like in clear than I've had in the past? Because I think it's more commonplace now. People are more accepting of that. And it's uh, really Absolutely. unique. Yeah. And I think people are willing to have now, people are willing to have more than one pair of glasses. Mm-hmm. That was another conversation I had with my husband about how, you know, when I was a kid and I didn't love my glasses, mm-hmm. there was really no options for me. I had one pair um it was the pair that they picked off the rack for me um it was in the era of sally jesse Raphael with like the really giant uh red glasses mine were red but they were close and it was you know that i didn't feel great about them and i certainly didn't have more than one pair to go with the different activities or the different outfits or anything like that so and especially when you weren't feeling I feel like we when we are able to do the multiple pairs for patients it's when we allow them to feel comfortable with who they are and just really happy with that they you know this can be a part of who you are and you could have changes and I get to have that conversation as a doctor all the time I get to say no they're like oh I love those glasses and I was like oh well this is like my fourth pair that I tried on today because I just was not sure and I think sometimes we forget that when we get to talk about that and, you know, I don't even qualify. I said, well, I know I work in this world, but I would have a couple, even if not, I've got to have different outfits and different kind of personas almost with my glasses. And it gives them the power to feel that way too. I I agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay. So my one last pair, I saved it for, um, for the last, because I feel like we're coming full circle here again. So my last pair this is, I mean, it it may just be my number one pair of glasses. Mm-hmm. They are gorgeous. I put on, I feel like, oh no, this is my number one. But this one really is, uh, we've circled back to Andy Wolf. I'm clearly a fan. I think that, um, I mean, it's beautiful. The 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 craftsmanship is beautiful. Oh, they're Tate. They're just so beautifully made, and you can tell the second you put them on, you're like, oh. This doesn't feel flimsy. This feels amazing. Um, So this pair, I mean, it's a dramatic cat eye, but I feel it's, um, I feel like it's flattering, not costumey. So Uh if I feel like I'm having a tired day or (laughs) I'm just kind of like feeling a bit down, Uh this thing, when I put this one on, I feel like it picks my whole face up. It does. the color, it's this sort of cranberry color that morphs between uh, being like a bright cherry red or kind of subtly pink. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. I wear it with everything. Again, it comes across as a neutral, even though it's a red frame. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I put a blue light filter in this pair. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I feel like it makes a difference. I feel like everything about this pair feels light and feels uplifting. It makes me feel happy and the color is so cute. This is yeah. one I um I was influenced by our <laughs> our favorite uh optical influencer there, Sheena. I'm sure she's like embarrassed that I've said her name so many times. But truly, when you meet people that are really passionate about glasses, mm-hmm. they're off on you. And 
um, she styled me in this pair too. So um, I, uh, she, she's I doing tried to glasses in the office the other day because um, since I, I, I only see a couple patients maybe a day and I, I bet everybody in the optical world can kind of discuss this as it's, I was bored in the office for once in my life. Um, so I decided I was just gonna try on a bunch of frames because why not, you know? And it somehow had like just this kind of like arching down and I put them on and my technician that was there with me, she goes, no, those make me look sad. And these frames do the exact opposite. They truly kind of bring that like, and it's not even a smile you're looking for. It's truly just kind of accentuates those higher features on your face and just brings joy. I love it. Yeah, easily, easily in the top five, probably my number one frame to the point where I have considered ordering it in every color just because it is like, it's that miracle, beautiful bridge fit. Like when you get that in an acetate, anybody that wears plastic glasses or acetate glasses knows that mm -hmm. fit. And there's just, um, I, I don't know. There's just absolutely nothing wrong with this pair. Other than, okay, so this is where I'll say there's one pitfall. It has nothing to do with the actual glasses themselves. So I put, um, uh, I did put a blue light filter lens in this pair, but I didn't put transitions in. That, oh, I hate it when I do that. When I like, you're like, if I would have just known, like if I just would have known how much I was going to love these, Ew. Yeah, I'm, it's fine and I'll change the lenses or maybe I'll keep these and get another pair in the same shape and do something different with them. But um, I think out of all of my glasses that I, you know, that I reach for and that I love, they do have that kind of versatility. They either have transitions in them or they've got a tint or there's something um, about them that just uh, makes them a bit more versatile than just like more at my computer glasses. I think that's such a beautiful thing to think about is when I get a pair of, you know, as we've talked through these different glasses, when I found a pair or you have found a pair that has just truly captivated us, it's not just something where it's like, well, I wear it for my one occasion. You know, even though there's multiple pairs and yes, for multiple occasions, um, I will still be very honest that it's used for multiple different things. It's throughout, I can wear it from inside to outside to all those different parts. And I have my good blue light and filter and um, I wear a progressive in all my glasses. So all of them have my favorite progressive in them because I want to be able to, you know, not just have a reader's pair or just have a distance pair. I need both. And I think that's such a, a unique piece. Um, of, you know, how we have to style. Daryl, even though his video wasn't working, he said, no transitions? Yikes. I know. <laughs> it's so <laughs> Yeah. No, and I didn't, st I didn't try transitions in my glasses until um, I worked for a company this summer that does them in all their glasses and I got a pair for free. And so I was like, well, I'll try it. What's, what's the harm in trying? And then I was like, I'm never going back. I'm never going oh. back. Absolutely. I mean, that's really, it's so funny that this is turned into a transitions conversation, but you know, that is one of those things. I feel like anybody in this industry um, needs to have their transitions aha moment mm -hmm. where you sort of, you really get it. You sort of grab onto it and now you're in it. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, because I mean, before when I was dispensing glasses, um, like my first five years in the optical industry, uh -huh. I was the worst at selling transitions. Um, I mean, I was a bit younger at the time and I thought, and I felt the transitions wasn't a cool thing to put in your glasses. And I was just like, I would downsell them all the time. Like I just would never No, I didn't want to talk about them. Mm -hmm. I was like, uh, not for me. Uh huh. And I mean, I've had a complete switch around. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like, you know, people really need to pay attention to that. It's part of the style, but it's part of the function and I'm all in for it. So I realized I sound like an ad for transitions. I just actually really believe that. So No, and I think that's a, an important point. It's all of these things. And I think the best thing for doctors to remember is when you're in your practice and you're like, oh, well, I want to uh, kind of 
convince patients to upgrade their lenses. I want to have another opportunity for patients to, you know, add maybe a little extra cost onto their glasses that comes back to me, which is, I totally agree that we need to look for the best and for our patients is you also need to kind of figure out and believe in it. And I think one thing that we that we've brought up t- several times today is you've got to be able to put in that transitions or anything, whether that's going to be a blue light, bl- blue light blocking lens, whether it's going to be a progressive, you have to bring that into the style. You have to bring these all together to match that frame or else it's not going to go well. Like if I would have put, you know, uh, gotten a certain frame and then tried to pair transitions with it and then also do something else but I didn't take into consideration any of the components of how they work together. It doesn't bring about a good pair. It doesn't bring out about the pseudo soup glasses. It doesn't bring about that incentive to do something different and do another pair. So I think it's such an important conversation for all of us to have an aha moment or an understanding of why people love it and have that aha moment is so that you can implement that into where you are. Absolutely. And I think it's also important to you know, for the public to to come to us, you know, come to their eye care professionals, come to people that know what they're doing, that have some kind of insight on how it all comes together. I mean, it's mm-hmm. really um, like when I go shopping in a mall, a lot of times what I do when I walk into a clothing store, I look at how they put the clothes together on a mannequin because mm-hmm. professionals put these colors together and paired it all together. And Mm -hmm. when I look at that, I kind of, it gives me ideas. I'm sort of like, oh, okay. So I get the direction that I should be going. And Mm -hmm. so really when um, members of the public are coming into our opticians and coming into our optometry offices, we really, you know, need to be that for them and really guide them down the right path and show them what goes with what and what all the options are. So I remember that's so funny that Sheena said that you wanted to wear them to a party. So you're ready to go. I love it. I uh, so I recently found my um, which will be my ninth pair of optical sun um, optical glasses. Um, that doesn't include my sunglasses, and I found them. And my technician is like, I can't get them quickly. Like you're like right now because I found them just recently. She's like, I can't get them quick right now, so you can't have a reason to wear them. Okay. Fine, <laughs> a little bit. But, um, well, I legitimately called Sheena up and said, um, can you get these done for me like right now so I can come and get them because I've got a place to go with them. And it wasn't quite a party, but it was more like an event that was happening. And I just like, they were just going to be perfect with the outfit. And yeah, you know, girl came and through. A, and I think that's the perfect thing about the call too, is when you find someone that is, that also beautifully styles you is they're willing to make and go that extra effort. So I think as doctors, like we have to realize that, you know, that customer service component comes in too. So I love it. Um, So kind of wrapping up here, any last sage words of advice to all of us as we go and pick out glasses of um, how to find, you know, just like some, you know, kind of how to find those top five glasses for you, for each of us personally. I think, I mean, I I already kind of said it, but I'll reiterate, like, ask your opticians, ask the professionals that are working in that particular boutique or that shop, because it, they know their product, Mm -hmm. they know, you know, what's going to fit. And I mean, even if they don't know you and know your personal style at that moment, you can guide them, but I mean, they are like use their knowledge and and put together your ultimate pairs of glasses. So that's definitely one huge component. I think that you need that personal touch Um, and hopefully moving forward in our um, current situation uh, globally, Mm -hmm. moving forward, hopefully there's still opportunities to do um, one on one in a modified way that Uh that we can all kind of continue to have that kind of experience and get mm-hmm. styled with your classes. Also, don't stop at one. <laughs> like, this was my top five, and it was legitimately hard to pick because I kept being like, oh, well, no, maybe this one. Oh, wait, no, but this one. Because they're all kind of my favorite for their own individual reason. I have, like, 
crazy vintage sunglasses that are kind of falling apart, but I love them and I love the gradient tints or I have like big weird aviators and I've got, you know, just a ton of different variety and I love them all like my little, my little glasses babies. <laughs> Totally. Well, I love it. Where can we, if people really want to see um, your eye style outfits of the day during quarantine are still my favorite. I think my favorite was when you styled out, was it giraffe pajamas or cat pajamas? What pajamas? Oh, God. I was yeah. okay. I was like, it was orange and yellow. I'm trying to think. Um, they were fantastic. So Thank how you. can they find you? <laughs> so um, you can find me. I'm on Instagram at daily dose. So it's mm -hmm daily d-a-y-l-e-y underscore dose d-o-s-e and uh that's a that's about it just find me there i'm always there <laughs> yeah we're that's and it's been so fun to get to kind of hear your voice and get to see you and know you in person and i know daryl is just so bummed that he missed out on this conversation because he is a style guru on all of this as well yeah and we'll do it again with like we'll do another one maybe next time it'll be top five sunglasses and yeah. Yeah, it'll be so fun because it's just there's so many different components of all of this so thank you so much for all your knowledge you truly inspire all of us daily. So um, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> so, uh, check her out on Instagram and then just keep following us along as we go along this wonderful journey. So thank you so much. Have a great rest of your night, y'all. Thanks. Thanks.